Hello and welcome back to EVSwap. I'm Jimmy and I'm a car enthusiast. I love cars of all types, but here at EVSwap, I take cars that are gas and make them electric. All right, for the video today, first of all, the electric's gone. So I bought a windshield for the electric uh, almost two years ago. And it's kind of a funny story because the electric is kind of a parts car. It uses parts bins from Ford and GM and Volkswagen all together to make this kind of electric kit car. Well, I bought a windshield for it and I had it in storage and I've been protecting it for two years, but I went to install it yesterday. It's the wrong size. I got the wrong windshield, which really sucks because it's so hard to find parts for this car. Uh, from what I've heard, the windshield is the same as the 1975 to 1980 Chevy Monza, Buick Skyhawk, and Pontiac Sunbird. And this is a kind of a weird car because back in the 70s, in 1974, the Clean Air Act passed. And so all of the domestic auto manufacturers totally had to retool and build new cars, smaller cars with smaller engines with better emissions. Well, it turns out there's four different windshields for a 1975 Monza, depending on if it's a hatchback, a wagon, a coupe, or a notchback. And what I need is I think for the hatchback. So anyway, the windshield I bought is too big, it won't fit, which really sucks because they're extremely hard to find. I might have a lead on another windshield that will fit, but I'm still waiting to hear back on whether it's the right size or not. So anyway, the electric's gone, it's back at my house in the garage, but you can see all this water. I just did a big job today. I replaced the charger on 2019 Leaf. My friend Tim had a Leaf, a 2019 40 kilowatt hour Leaf, and the charger stopped charging on level two. It would only charge on level three. So I helped him today replace that charger, and we got the new charger in. It all charges, it's all good, ready to go. So that's cool. We got a little bit of work done here at the shop and we got the car fixed and it's back on the road so you remember the fj40 we got the tesla motor in there and otherwise it's kind of a bare shell ready to be converted and restored so unfortunately i'm not gonna be able to finish this car at least on my own so i'm gonna put this car up for sale and if somebody wants to buy this thing and then have my shop ev swap convert this to electric i will do it that's Totally no problem. The problem is I can't do it on my own. So I need a customer to buy this car, to convert it to EV, and then we'll go ahead with the build. But right now, it's just here in the corner and it's just gonna sit for right now. I do have two more customers lined up to do EV conversions. So I'm waiting, one of them is confirmed and I'm gonna get a 2002 Toyota Tacoma in here and we're gonna do a LEAF conversion on it with a 62 kilowatt hour battery. It's gonna be a super cool build. So that's gonna happen within the next week or two. And I have another com uh, customer, potential customer on the line to do another vehicle, which I won't reveal yet. But uh, things are still moving ahead here at EV Swap. Just a couple setbacks, but we're still moving ahead with the EV conversions. So that kind of does it for the updates on the shop, but I've got a special surprise. Let's get to it. Right, so in this box is a mock-up battery modules. So I was sent this from Westside EV. Let's get this box open and see what's inside. All right, so we'll open it up. What's that? It's a Tesla battery module, except in cardboard. So these are uh, cardboard battery module mock-ups from Westside EV. They got this cool printed cardboard that shows the Tesla modules so that you can mock them up in your EV to figure out how much space you need to build a battery. So we'll go ahead and we'll build these. All right, so one of these is from a Tesla Model S and the other one's from a Tesla Model X. I'm not quite sure which is which yet. So it looks like they're both the same size, which I think is right. The X and the S have the same size battery modules, but you can see it's got the graphics on here that show the uh, positive and negative terminals 
and the BMS on the front here and it has all the cells it's nicely made really good graphics on here but this is cool because now you can kind of stack these in your battery bay and figure out how big of a battery box you actually need so this is kind of cool it looks like yeah okay so these sweet so there's like the the rail that mounts the battery So there's the rails on the sides, so you can measure out how to mount them. This is awesome. What you can do with these is kind of configure your box and figure out how many modules you can fit in a certain space without actually having to buy the modules. And then these are also extremely lightweight and really movable. Like you can mock these up in your build before you actually use the real cells and uh, you can get it set up to accept these before you spend the big money or the time or effort to use your actual battery modules. So it looks like we've got enough room in here, maybe for two wide. Yeah, we can probably fit two wide here, but this is a great little mock-up to actually have a physical representation of the cells and figure out where they want to go. But this is so much easier to do than to actually use the real battery modules. So that's awesome. So check out westside-ev.com if you want to buy these modules yourself. Thanks Westside EV, this is so cool. Thanks for sending these. Westside EV sent me these free of charge just to do a little video and I do like these, this is a cool product. Cheap, efficient, useful, really cool. So anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you got something out of this. Like I said, we're gonna have another EV conversion in here soon. The electric, we're still working on that. And then again, the FJ40. If you know somebody who wants a super awesome electric 1969 Land Cruiser, with a Tesla Model 3 motor that's gonna go 300 horsepower. It's gonna have a lot of performance in a cool, classic truck. You know where to find me and I will build this truck for you. So thanks again for watching here at EV Swap. We'll see you in the next video. Hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. If you have a friend or family member that you think would be interested in this channel, please send them a link. That's the biggest way to grow the channel is to send links to your friends and grow it by word of mouth. That's the best thing that helps me. And again, check out my website, evswapconversions.com, and you can check out my store where I've got all sorts of products for EV conversions, like FJ40 motor mounts. I've got coffee, I've got mugs, I've got t-shirts, all that stuff, and I'm gonna be adding new products all the time. So check me out, evswapconversions.com. Thanks for watching.